liquidity injections have kept a uh, market extremely optimistic despite a macroeconomic environment that wasn't particularly good. And those net liquidity injections have shown that uh, the difference between an overconfident market and a market that looks at fundamentals comes usually from more money printing. And money printing is when even with the Federal Reserve reducing its balance sheet because of the maturities of the debt that they have, what you have on the other side is through the reverse repo market and through the window of liquidity, a massive level of liquidity injections. But so, Liquidity injections have driven markets higher in the last seven, seven months, but we have to understand that that is coming to an end. And that coming to an end generates significant challenges for a market that requires not just more liquidity injections, but incrementally exponential liquidity injections in order to keep playing the multiple expansion game. So, what basically everybody, gold, Bitcoin, markets are discounting is that the fiscal situation in the United States is completely unsustainable and therefore will require much more financial repression. What we can see is the reality of why these stimulus packages are so negative for the economy. Gross domestic income in 2023 rose just 0.5%. Gross domestic income has been monstrously lower than in 2022, and it's showing that the headline GDP figure, its gross domestic product, is bloated by massive levels of debt and is bloated by massive levels of government spending. The internal economy, what shows is that there is a reality, is that the economy is in stagnation despite or because of massive stimulus packages that don't work. Keynesianism never works. It tries to generate bloated headline figures and ends up destroying the middle class and worsening the situation for the average citizen. So, despite an allegedly robust recovery of gross domestic income, what we have is a very poor, is a very, very poor uh, development in 2023. And even if we put the average of GDP and GDI, the uh, average shows a very weak economy considering the enormous amount of increase in debt. Same with employment. Let's go to the next graph. And what we can see is that in employment, we have a much worse situation than initially, initially expected. Let's start with two facts. Number one, the labor participation rate in the United States is below pre-pandemic levels. Number two, employment to population levels are also below the pre-pandemic levels. Number three, wage growth, real wage growth is below less than four times lower than the previous administrations, 2021 to 2024, uh, only 0.7% increase in real wage growth. And that is obviously aggregate figures. Look at the reality afterwards for the average citizen. And that comes from massively bloating debt much more than any of the counterparts globally, but massively bloating debt in an environment of huge recovery. Huge recovery is that this shouldn't have happened, is that this massive increase in debt that we have seen between 2021 and 2024 is an abnormality, is that it should have been the opposite, is that debt should have been reduced, deficit spending should have been reduced. Obviously, what happened in COVID should have been corrected, but it hasn't been corrected. It has been worsened dramatically afterwards. So all of those elements show us why there is no element of uh, support from the vast majority of Americans for the administration in terms of the economy. But let's look at another very important problem in the next graph, is the amount of debt not just rising, 
but rising much faster than in previous estimates. These are the previous estimates of the Congressional Budget Office. Look, in 2021, the estimate of increasing debt was enormous. Yes, mm -hmm. absolutely it was. However, look at the 2023 estimate. It's much worse, is that the uh, level of debt expected by the Congressional Budget Office is looking at a massive increase in debt that can reach $50 trillion pretty, pretty soon at this rate. It is insane to see a government that is in 12 months, it's spending $1.1 trillion in interest payments. Now, 2024, have seven trillion of debt that are going to be maturing, that will be refinanced at a higher rate. So basically, the way that this stupid Keynesianism always ends up destroying the economy is two ways. Number one, destruction of the purchasing power of the currency, destroying real wages, destroying deposit savings, making citizens poorer, and higher taxes. Those two things at the same time, when those stimulus packages have only done one thing, deliver more debt and transfer wealth from the productive sectors to the government. And bloating government spending is always a negative. Yes, debt in the United States is unsustainable. That doesn't mean that it cannot continue to grow. It will continue to grow. And, the, and what shows it is unsustainable is the destruction of the purchasing power of the currency, is the destruction of the budget through more interest payments, and certainly the worsening of productivity growth, real wage growth, and also of economic growth. Debt is a burden. You may increase it because you are forced in the financial sector to assume that this is the lowest risk asset. You may increase it, but that doesn't say that debt is not unsustainable. It just says that you're going to pass all of its imbalances to the citizens via destruction of the middle class. Welcome to modern era Keynesianism, which has absolutely nothing to do with what Keynes actually recommended, which was for the government to cut taxes and to save in periods of growth and to invest in real economic return investments in periods of recession. Governments are doing the opposite to all of that. It's not Keynesianism. It's destruction of the economy via bloated government spending. That is not entitlement. That is certainly not social. It is anti-social. Keep defending freedom. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel, like my videos, leave your comments below, and keep defending freedom. Thank you very much.